We're going to do a dish tonight, which is what we got, X. So we've got some uh, cod, onion, feta cheese, broccoli, basil, tomatoes, sweet corn, and some chickpeas. Chickpeas, brilliant. So all these ingredients here are really accessible. The chickpeas, you can buy them cooked in a in a tin in the uh, the supermarket. Um, really not too expensive. We've got some feta cheese, broccoli, corn, like Axel said, and cod. Now listen, if you don't have all these ingredients, it doesn't matter. You could use salmon, you could use, um, you know, hake, any other kind of fish. You could even use chicken breast or whatever. It doesn't matter, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to bring the salad together, Axe, uh, and then we're going to take that upstairs and we're going to cook the cod and bring the dish together, okay? So... Max man, if you could continue cutting the spring onion, please. And I'm going to start to bring this salad together. Now, I've been really inspired by some of the um, chefs around the world who have been like showing what they're doing at home. It's amazing. Keep up the good work, guys. And I have to give a real shout out for some of my own chefs because they have been going to extraordinary lengths at home with their families, their girlfriends, and doing some really cool videos. So first of all, we have Chef Chris 86. For those of you who know him, he's a wee bit of a nutter, but he's incredibly talented and he's doing some great family cooking. It's really good. So make sure you give him a follow. Next, we've got my head chef, Lachlan, at Cuckoo Lachlan. Um, and he's the head chef of the kitchen, but his food is a little bit more, um, you know, out there. It's a little bit more detail but a lot of Asian influence as well, which is really interesting. And then we have sous chef at the Bonnie Badger in Gullen, at Chef Kip. Now, Kip is really just showing off. He's doing some wonderful food um, and, you know, using all lots of techniques. This is a lot simpler what we're doing here at home. Okay, so you cut that. You're going to cut the basil for me for it as well, X. So really, really simple. You can buy all this in the supermarket. You can... The cod, you know, if you can't get fish, you know, you've got to try and get your... Lots of fishmongers now are doing home delivery. So if you just look up your local fishmonger, I'm sure you can you can order the fish or they can deliver it to your house, okay? So we've got the chickpeas and we're going to put them in the bowl, okay? And then we're going to add the onion, okay? And everything's kind of cold here as well, which is quite nice because... It takes away the stress of um, bringing it all together. Okay, so everything in the bowl. You've got the spring onion. And really, you could use any of the vegetables. You know, you don't have to use the vegetables that I've, I've used here. You could use any vegetables you've got at home. We're going to add the olive oil. And give a good, good dash of the olive oil. And we would add a little bit of balsamic vinegar, but I forgot to bring that downstairs. I told you to bring that. Anyway, so just a little bit of balsamic vinegar as well. And some salt. Now, always try to use the best ingredients you can. You know, if you can get extra virgin olive oil, you know, if not, you can use rapeseed oil. If you can get, you know, proper sea salt, but it doesn't matter. You know, whatever you can and improvise and get these little guys working because they're good at chopping. They want to chop, they want to learn, they want to become good wee cooks. And do you know what? If anything comes out of this for me personally, is that all my boys are going to be learning to cook a lot more, right? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to give a good twist of pepper as well. And we're going to mix that through nice and gently. And you see, I've, I've got a bowl big enough that allows me to mix to get the spatula in. And you can just look at the vibrant colors. You can see how healthy and tasty that is going to be. So we're going to let that sit now before we go upstairs and cook the cod and then bring the dish together. Yeah. All right, we'll see you soon. Right, we are ready to serve dinner. Yeah, Axe? Yeah. Okay, so I know that some of you get a little bit scared about cooking fish, steak, that kind of thing. So hopefully, we can, uh, you know, break some of those worries a little bit. So the cod that we had downstairs, same again for any fish again. What we're doing is we're just drying it. And I'm using some kitchen paper here. And we want to get the skin nice and dry 
because when we cook the cod, we want to get it nice and crispy, Axe. Right, Axe, you're going to put the salt and the oil on the fish, please. So take the other one, please. This oil. Okay. Now, give that a good leather all over. That's it, you man. And the other side. Magic. Okay. And then we're going to put some salt. So give a good sprinkle in the salt. Oh, that is salt. Salt, salt, salt. You know, I know we have to watch how much salt we eat and everything, but honestly, food without salt is it's an absolute nightmare. It's one of my pet hates. Everything, you know, seasoning is so important. And I'm be seasoning the other side as well, like so. Oh, yeah. And now the other side. Okay. Put your oil. Magic. Look at that, lovely. Okay, so now put your salt on. Now, if you wanted here, you could put some different spices, some Cajun spices. Um, you could marinate the fish, some oil, some lemon, some garlic, some herbs, whatever. But we're just trying to keep it keep it nice and simple. Okay, so we've seasoned our salt. We've got our oil on top. And now we're going to cook it. Okay, so we're going to come over here to the pan. And we've got the pan nice and hot here. And we're going to just cook. I'm just going to cook one of these so we can get everyone So, this is where it gets uh, difficult for people. You know, it's so important that we get the pan to the right temperature, actually. Okay, so you can see it's, it's hot there, okay? But people worry, if you don't get it hot enough, when you add the fish, the skin won't go crispy, and then it starts to kind of boil, and it's not. So we want to get this, be careful, like so. Like this. So put it in the far side first. Watch your wee finger. That's it. Magic. Right. So get the skin crispy. Crispy fish skin is one of my favourites, especially with that bit of salt inside, yeah? Okay? And, oh, I should have said, I should have said, we, we, we preheated the oven to 200 degrees. So the oven's already hot. Because the fish is quite thick, we need to put it through the oven a little bit. Make sure the temperature gets to the to the bottom. Do you understand? Yes. You will be tested on this afterwards. Uh, Are you paying attention? Yes, sir. Yes, yes, I like that. I like that. Right, there we are. Okay. So there we see it. The fish is nicely starting to get a nice crispiness to the skin there. Okay, so we've got to be patient. And that's the thing with cooking. If you've got to use your your common sense. If something's looks like it's burning or the pan looks like it's not hot enough nine times out of ten that's probably the case okay so we've got to use our uh, common sense we have a lot of common sense don't we actually yep most of the time mm -hmm. is there anything you want to say to the um, people watching this um um uh, well no i just want uh, no, no maybe like i hope you're doing well yeah. you know Hope everyone's well. Yeah, hope everyone's well and um not getting too sick and yeah. Okay, and we'll see you soon. Yeah. Okay, right, okay. And the football team? Uh yeah, um Ted looks in soon. Um hopefully like you'll back be back soon and yeah. We've all been practicing? Yep. Right. Can't wait to, to kick them. Yeah, to see them. Right. Now look, you can see the fish is getting nice and crispy in there, underneath. Okay, this is exactly what we're making for. So what we're going to do now, is we're going to turn the fish over, okay? So I'm going to turn this one over, okay? Okay, one, two, three. Oh, look at that, Act. And you, my man, be very careful. You want to get right underneath. I'll move that, right underneath. And use my thing. Oh, beautiful. Right. So now we need to put that in the oven now. So pop that in the oven. Okay. Okay. On the top shelf. Top shelf. Right. Don't let anyone see our dirty oven. Okay, it's not that dirty. And we're going to cook that in the oven for about four minutes, four to five minutes. And again, I know that's a little bit of a stress for people like, ah! How long do I cook the fish for? Well, there's, you know, how long is a piece of string really, you know? Sometimes mummy calls me when I'm at work, doesn't she? And she says, 
I put the fish in the oven. How long did I put the fish for? I'm like, um, I don't know. I'm at work. Um, but no. So what we're going to do, we're going to teach you how to do that. And we've got like a little needle here. Okay. You might have a little sharp knife or something like that. And when the fish comes out, we're going to just insert it into the fish gently. And if there's any resistance, any resistance at all, the fish isn't cooked. But if there's no resistance, now, you know, the fish will be ready to take out the oven. And we really want to try, if we can, guys, cooking at home. And this is what I'd like you to do. If you, if you do take on this recipe, then, you know, send me the pictures on Instagram or something. And I'll post them on my story. And if we have any other ideas... We've got plenty more children, so they all want a shot at this. So if you've got some ideas, we're going to do a bit more cooking, right? And um, we also have to put the basil into it. We, we also have to put the basil into it. Brilliant. It's got potential. Okay, good, Axel. Right, okay, so now, Chef, this is the Master Chef bit. I know you like a bit of Master Chef, if you're watching Greg, John. Um, presentation, I'll leave that up to you. Okay. okay, so remember, we've got like over 100,000 people um, watching, maybe, you know, um, right? So presentation, off you go. I'll leave that to you. Um, no. Make sure you get a bit of everything. Mm? Yep. A bit of sweet corn, a bit of the veg, all right. Magic, not up the sides. Okay. Okay. I know, make sure, you know, there's six people. Make sure there's enough to go around. Yeah. Okay. Right, so now. We're going to bring that fish out of the oven, Chief. Okay, let me just get that there. Okay, right, you're going to take the fish, take the fish out of the oven and pop it on here. Be really careful, it's hot, yeah? So make sure you grab the handle at the... Okay, pop that there. All right, and then we don't touch that. So, little safety tip. We always put that over there so nobody comes along and grabs the, the, uh, the handle. Right, so using the needle, and you push that in, and you can want to try. So do you feel anyone meet any resistance? It can easily go through the needle. Yeah? We're good? Yep. Magic. Magic. Right, so now the fish. So you want to get underneath again. Which one are you going for? Bad boy. Bad boy. Might be careful. Ah. Nice. Like it. Like it. And don't lick your fingers, okay? Right, and this one we're just going to pop there for just... Now, oh, look in the pan there, guys. Look in the pan. We've got all that... Cook Remember, that's hot. You've got all that cooking juice there, okay? So, oh, I don't have a lemon. I need to get a lemon. But just imagine, a squeeze of lemon now, or lime, or something. A little bit more olive oil. Shake that around. And that's what we call, that. that's like the, the cooking juices of the cod. Absolutely delicious, okay? So do not throw those in the bin, okay? And then we take that, we shake it, and then we pour that over the top of the cod and the salad. And there we have it. Okay. Clean your sides and messy pot. Your presentation is, um, well, we could maybe improve it a wee bit, couldn't we? But... You know, it's not about presentation, it's about tasty, healthy, and really easy to bring together. I hope you're going to try it, and um, it's a bye-bye from Axel. Bye. Ah, it's a bye.